What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, welcome. So I haven't uh, degreased or done anything with the block. Cause look at this weather. It's been cold and snowing. And look at the engine block where it's at. See, it's been sitting here. It's covered up. So no water gets in there for now. But as soon as the snow goes away, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And we gotta degrease that engine. And I did buy some paint. I have it inside the house, let me show you guys. All right, so this is the paint that I bought. It's by Rust-Oleum High Heat. This is um, flat aluminum. And then this is the clear. High heat clear. And that's what I'm gonna use on the engine block once I get it cleaned up. And then I bought this right here. High heat black. So I was thinking of using this on my transmission and using it on this right here, on the exhaust manifold. Oh yeah, and I also got this, a bunch of this stuff to uh, clean a lot of that grease off. And some purple power, of course. I'm gonna need a lot of purple power with this bucket. And I'm gonna put all that stuff in the bucket to get it all the grease. All right, so it's been a few more days and the snow melted, but it's been nothing but rain. It really sucks not having a garage or a spot to work on the car stuff. As you guys can see, it's all wet outside. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start degreasing some stuff in that bucket. I have no choice since I can't do anything else. And also, I think I'm gonna go ahead and order some parts that I need and at least get those on the way this way. All right, so I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the girdle sit in there, which is this piece right here. I'm gonna put it in, let it soak for a little bit, and then I'll pull it out, scrub it a little bit, and then after that, I'll go ahead and flip her around. So while we wait on this to the grease a little bit and soak, we're gonna go ahead and order some parts that we need. All right, so like I had said before, I want you guys to know um, what parts I'm getting for the build that I'm doing. And also, so you guys have sort of a reference in case you guys are piecing a turbo uh, kit together and stuff like that. So basically, I'm gonna show you guys right now. This is one of the things I'm gonna be ordering. This is a block guard. So basically, that's what it's gonna look like once it's installed. Basically giving you support around the cylinder. It goes for $47.96. You could either buy it on eBay or you could go ahead and go to their website. So another part that I'm gonna be ordering is gonna be the wastegate. I'm gonna order this off eBay. Um, yeah, this is a cheaper uh, wastegate, no name brand, and it could always be upgraded later on. If you're trying to get boosted and you're trying to do it on a budget, this is how you do it. You buy the cheaper parts and later on you upgrade them. So this one goes for 
is the 38, 35, 38 millimeter external wastegate. I'm getting this through, it says Speed Daddy, right across right here. All right, so I placed the order for that also. Uh, the next thing that I want to order is going to be the dump for, for the wastegate. So this is right here, what I have. It goes for $23.74. If it's a 35, 38 millimeter wastegate. So that should bolt directly onto that wastegate that I ordered. All right, so I'm gonna place one more order and this is gonna be for my return line. Uh, for the oil pan. So basically this is the bong that goes on the oil pan for the return line Which is this guy right here. I like to order this one Because of the fact that all you do is drill a hole on your oil pan and then there's no welding with this See it comes with uh, Gaskets right in the middle. So you end up just putting those gaskets and then you tighten it all up and you shouldn't have any leaks. I've used this before, never had any problems with it. Um, it's from the same company for $13.99. Yeah, so if you're not looking into getting anything welded, this is the way to go. All right, so I, I will show you guys how to put that on later on, on the oil pan, drill a hole, and how to install it and everything. That'll be on the future video. I still gotta bring the oil pan inside, clean it also. But once I get it cleaned, I'm, I can pretty much mock it up once I get it in the mail and install it. All right, so this has been soaking in here for about two hours. I went ahead and I flipped it, and you guys can already see the difference. Look at this. A lot of the stuff already came off. Alright, so I went ahead and I pulled it out. And this is what it looks like right now. I wiped it down and I also sprayed it with some brake cleaner. So I think I'm just going to let this be. I'm not going to scrub it any more out of it or anything. Because of the fact that I still got to cut this. I got to cut the girdle when I get my, my rods when I order them to make clearance. All right, so the rain and the cold weather continues. I did get the stuff in the mail. Um, I did open it, go through it already, but I'm gonna show you guys. This is the VMS block guard that I ordered. I did receive it. Another thing that I got. was the wastegate. It came with all the hardware and all the stuff in there. So this wastegate comes with two springs in it. All right, so between the two springs, it's 20 PSI. One of them is for seven PSI and the other one is for 13 PSI. Um, I still haven't opened it to pull any springs out of it. Like I said, it came with the hardware and everything's in there. Feels pretty heavy. It looks like it's sealed right in there. Doesn't look crooked or anything like that. So, we should be good on this. At least till we upgrade it later on. Basically, 
for those of you that don't know, but I'm pretty sure everybody here knows, this will connect to that right there. And then it came with the spacers. So basically you put a spacer here if you're trying to clear something to go the opposite direction or anything. So it's supposed to rain tomorrow also and hopefully the day after the rain is supposed to stop. So as soon as it stops, you guys already know I'm gonna head out there and try to get that flat painted. But I'm gonna go ahead and post this video up, a small update, what I got, what I've been doing, and how the weather has been just really bad crappy weather. So I'll catch you guys on my next video. So then, peace out. Stay safe, catch you guys later, peace.